Okay, class, let's take a look. Uh, see uh, where is our, our scope. Uh, class, uh, please on the mic, please. Off the mic, please. Okay, class, let's take a look. Uh, uh, basically, uh, we are in the three vehicle. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, we are in the three vehicle. Okay, so in stage number one, explaining the differences uh, uh, in the type of people who undertake this path, we have done, uh, we are done already. Uh, that is, regards uh, the main audience of the three vehicle, uh, basically, uh, uh, not for man only, including the layman. Uh, if the layman uh, really have the heart, uh, uh, I mean, for renouncing, you are the target for the three vehicle. Okay, huh? then once uh, we determine the target, so next uh, uh, we go to the stage two is explaining the elements that make up the path. What are the elements? Let's take a look. Huh? So basically, uh, okay, let's see. In stage two, the elements we need to say is the four noble truth and the law of dependent origination. So, so uh, uh, these are the mains. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, uh, I mean, uh, this is the uh, maybe it's the major contents uh, uh, for this. Uh, uh. Okay, we uh, after doing this, now we go to the next. Is the stage number three is uh, defining the noble truth of the path to cessation as embodied by the three training and the noble eightfold, uh, noble eightfold path. Okay, class, basically we are in the three training. We already finished the training of morality. If you still have an impression, uh, if you still remember that um, in the three, uh, I mean, in the training of the morality, we talk about the precept, especially more for the monk and nun. So I explain uh, some details regarding lifestyle, you know, and as a layman, how do you practice okay, the morality? Uh, so second uh, is uh, the training, uh, uh, is for the uh, training of the mind. Uh, so actually, we are in this area. Uh, expect we are we are going to finish the whole thing then we go to the advanced training of the wisdom then we go to the noble expo path okay so let's take a look uh, basically uh, for this verse uh, uh, it previously uh, we are in the verse number 89 is uh, is regards this uh, okay all this can purify sila and be skillful means for achieving the concentration of uh, what does it mean all uh, is number uh, 89 is regards a few things for you to take good care in order to do well in the meditation okay uh, okay if if once uh, you cannot meditate well uh, basically we are going to check uh, how how well of a precept okay uh, if let's say you can't check in your precept it must be related to this a few item what is it number one the way you eat mm, the quality of the food and the quantity of the food Okay, and the frequency of the meal, right? Then second is how do you sleep? Mm, do you sleep in a mindful way or not? Okay, uh, and then uh, number third, are you always contented in the daily life, in the life? Uh, okay, are you always contented? Okay, uh, then are you be mindful, especially uh, do you safeguard uh, all your faculty or not? Mm, okay, you know what are you supposed to see, hear, smell, or what you are not supposed to go to see and smell, you should refrain from yourself to do so in order to, to uh, I mean, uh, in order to make sure the precept we can do very well. Okay, uh, then uh, contented, all right. Then, uh, then always uh, my, uh, know uh, what are you supposed to do, what are you not supposed to do. Uh, so, this is a few things uh, uh, we mentioned. Uh, I mean, this, uh, I mean, uh, if you do all this well, uh, uh, basically, you can hold the precept very well. Uh, and then one more thing, uh, you have to always think about that, uh, 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 the purpose uh, of eating the food. Okay, uh, see here, go back to the verse. Uh. Yeah, this one, you see, mm, yes, okay, uh, guard the gate of the senses, con control the consumption of food and the drink, make food yoga is regarding the sleeping, and live with the right knowledge. So right knowledge means to say that, <coughs> you know, uh, uh, the purpose of uh, uh, 
for every activity that you, you are doing. Okay. So we finish. Now we go to the next. Uh, there's two more points. It's uh, be content and detach. Okay. Huh? Uh, basically, if let's say uh, huh, once you do the meditation, huh, if you're not contented, you always think uh, huh, you want to eat more. Huh? Okay. Or maybe uh, huh, before finish the retreat, you start planning oh, what I'm going to eat <laughs> after the retreat. Huh? Uh, it should be some revenge uh, huh, in shopping and revenge in dining in and revenge in watching the movie. Or oh, then your mind is keep all, all, the, all this type of stuff. Okay. Huh? So now we go to the next paragraph. Okay, uh, it's number 90, uh, 88, we finished already. 89, uh, so this is, this. I mean, uh, this all, you can purify your sila and make sure you can achieve a good concentration. Okay, so now we go to the verse number 90. Okay, uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yong uh, Sin, can you please read the passage, okay, to further the study. Uh, I think we stop at the study of meditation now. So for uh, one, you mean we finish already? Not yet, not yet. No. Oh, not yet. No. You mean we we uh, we should start in the verse eighty nine? You mean right? Uh, eighty nine. Ah, uh, here, here, study of meditation. Uh, we should begin here, huh? Yeah, please, you can start now. The study of meditation, the pure study of the precept, it's also the skillful means for meditation. It is the foundation for the practice of meditation and a necessary preparatory work. The sutra says, when the precepts are kept purely, one has no annoyance or regret. Without regret, one is joyful. Being joyful, one is happy. With the happy mind, one's body attains mild tranquility. Because the body is tranquil, one receives superior bliss. Because of bliss, one's mind is concentrated. Those who keep the precept purely have an easy conscience and naturally tend towards the study of meditation. As for proper daily life, not being desirous of flavorful food, overeating or drinking, not being desirous of sleep or drowsy, closely guarding the gates of senses, acting with right knowledge. This will eliminate the obstacle of meditation. Those who keep the precepts purely will therefore sleep calmly, awake calmly and leave far behind all physical and mental afflictions. <clears throat> Moreover, there is nothing frightening. Thus, the mind is without fear and the body and mind are always in stillness. The study of meditation will come naturally and one will succeed easily. Ordinary people only envy the virtues of meditation but do not know they have to start by keeping the precepts. Not knowing that one body and mind are constantly afflicted and restless like a violent storm. One hopes to suppress it instantly by bending the legs, closing the eyes, and counting the breaths. No wonder it is difficult to attain concentration. Even in the case of person who have some meditative power, if their precepts are impure and their volition and motives are improper, whatever concentration they achieve become the and they end up being disturbed by devils and non-humans, harming themselves and others. Okay, thank you so much. Please highlight the point. Uh, wait, uh, I don't see you all uh, during the sharing. Wait, uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I see you already. Okay. <laughs> okay, class, uh, let's take a look. Uh, so in the very beginning, uh, the purpose for the precept is very clear. 
plastic look to avoid the annoyance and the regrets. So no regrets, you will joy. And when you joy, you're happy. Then once you're happy, you have a mind tranquility. Okay, huh? uh, yeah, uh, we could example before. Huh? <clears throat> if let's say huh, one day huh, you, do, you go for jogging huh, and then uh, you saw a, a dog is drowning, you see. Huh? Uh, but uh, maybe you are quite busy, so you ignore the dog. Okay, shall I know anybody cannot sleep maybe at the night uh, the dog image will appear for you? Can you put up your hand? You ignore the dog. The dog is in drowning. Ah, you see, SJ1, okay, Sally, Ah, uh, Yong Sin. You see, not even though it's a dog. So, so meaning to say that you start regret ready because uh, you didn't try your best uh, to help the dog. Because sometimes if you think, uh, maybe you, you think that uh, uh, maybe uh, even though a little bit late, but I mean, uh, you can make, make it win-win situation, right? So that's why uh, you have to observe the precept. If let's say uh, the regret is in your mind, uh, oh, it is not, um, I mean, uh, it is not a practical way for meditation. Uh, maybe uh, you can't sleep well and even can influence your diet uh, or your, your appetite. Uh. So that's why uh, once you hold the precept very well, no regret, so you, you, uh, you can meditate easily. Uh, okay, uh, so that is the purpose for the precept. So always remember, don't, don't think that person is some, a precept uh, doesn't mean it's something uh, always bind you, refrain you, this one cannot do, that one cannot do. No, actually the right way to think about the precept is uh, this is help us to free from all the regret and annoyance. That will be the proper way. Huh? If let's say once you hold the precept, uh, huh, you will end up, you don't see any, uh, I mean, uh, to uh, avoid the regret, and yet it doesn't help people. So you have to think, uh, do you really observe the pre pre precept superficially? Sometimes uh, uh, it, it can happen in this way. Huh? For example, you see in our preset actually, huh, we, we got some preset, but it's, you can consider a little bit, um, sometime maybe obsolete or maybe not very logic. Okay, huh? Maybe it is reasonable in an ancient time. Okay? For example, if let's say how a quarter of a preset, huh? if I eat an apple, you see, okay, I need a kapiya to help me to spoil, I mean the seed. So that the ability to grow will gone, you see. So, uh, so meaning to say, if I follow uh, the thousand years ago with Naya, uh, some lay men uh, must stay together with me. Uh, then now uh, before I eat the fruit, uh, they have to cut it, cut the fruit. Okay, uh, maybe they use the fire or whatever, just to make sure uh, the, the fruit uh, wouldn't grow up anymore, you see. So it sounds like uh, for me, uh, uh, what's the reason? There must be reason behind. But sometimes I will preserve, uh, they don't state up very clearly why we do so, you see. So uh, for the for the more the, the most conservative, uh, I mean, uh, 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 school, uh, they will try to observe every single sentence in the Vinaya without bordering. But for us, uh, you see, I never do this because uh, uh, during we study the precept, we notice that, oh, it seems not, not quite relevant, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, to the Vinaya, I mean, uh, uh, to the defilement, or, it, or also it seems not that relevant, uh, uh, to avoid people gossip. So that's why I don't do that. Yeah, for example, again, uh, uh, we try to clear the gardening. Uh, actually, we got the text mentioned that we never, uh, we don't clear her. Uh, I mean, um, uh, I mean, we don't chop any tree, you see. The reason chopping the tree is because a thousand years ago, uh, there, there, there is some ghosts and they were, uh, they stay on the tree. Uh, but the big one to build the kuti, uh, they go to chop the tree. Uh, and then uh, it makes uh, uh, them, make them to complain to Shakyamuni. So Shakyamuni laid down the rules, but 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 now even if you go to remove the glass, there's no dewa dewa. Oh, but some people they follow the text uh, word by word, uh, so it make them uh, I mean a lot of things to observe. You see, but sometimes not necessary. What is necessary, especially uh, when a single woman come to the temple, or oh, it's quite necessary. Uh, because uh, if a single woman come, uh, I let him come into the vihara, or we stay in the car. Number one, there will be some defilement problem. Second, people will gossip. So we have to observe the rule, even though, uh, I mean, this is stated. Uh, and then one more is, uh, maybe uh, we talk about smoking. Even though smoking is not stated in the rule, but you see, uh, once we smoke, uh, it doesn't look good. People start gossip, you see. Second, if you're addicted already, uh, uh, then it will be trouble for you, you see. Uh, uh, so, so that's why, uh, when we observe the rule, uh, especially for us, uh, we include a lot of a thousand years ago rules. Uh, we have to really scan uh, which one we should follow, which one we shouldn't follow. But for layman, uh, you just got five only. It's easy for you uh, to know uh, uh, which one you are supposed to do, which one you are not supposed to do.
okay 好，这是 number one 哈。那 second 呢 ，is is okay this is the number thirty 哈。Can you check for me the references? The reference for the thirty 啊。<coughs> this is very good, huh? The yoga chara bumi. Oh, okay. Yu Jia student. Oh, this is quite famous. Uh, commentary. Oh, uh, yoga chara bumi. Very good. Oh, uh, yoga chara bumi. Ah, uh, basically, huh? Uh, I mean, uh, just quite, quite, uh, quite a lot of material, huh? Uh, uh, for this book coded from Yogacara Bumi. Okay. Okay, the next we go to next. I uh, see. Uh, this one we mentioned already. Now, okay. Uh, there's nothing frightening. Thus, the mind is without fear. Uh, it shows uh, how well uh, you observe the precept. Okay. Uh, the last one, uh, even though you have a good meditative power, uh, uh, if, I mean, uh, if your precept is impure and you've got a violation, uh, then uh, I mean, <clears throat> you see, uh, they achieve uh, become the deviant. You see, okay, for uh, yeah, class uh, basically, uh, your intention to meditate is very important, especially if you are, uh, you are fragile, maybe vulnerable, maybe sensitive to the being and the demon. Some people are uh, since the childhood uh, I mean during uh, it's, uh, they can talk to the demon, they can communicate uh, with the being in the child. In the childhood if you are the case uh, you have to be careful if you meditate uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, with the intention to have a psychic uh, uh, so they will come to you and offer you i uh, want to offer you uh, uh, then uh, i mean uh, it, go, it can go back it can go badly uh. how do we differentiate that you see uh, if you go through uh, uh, the surangama sutra especially for tatakata gaba uh, you will mention that um, so many demons 50, uh, 50 uh, okay uh, uh, more 50 demon okay uh, and the demon uh, sometimes the attach the demon attached to the body uh, they also will appear with the joy okay you can uh, understand the sutra easily okay you will see the light well it seems uh, quite similar uh, okay if that's the case uh, how do you differentiate that I mean, uh, your experience is the genuine one, but not the, not the, not due to the attachment of the demon. How do you differentiate it? Yo, Kwa, what do you think? Huh? <coughs> what do you think? Huh? think uh, mm. <coughs> I never think this before. <laughs> it's quite confused, right? Because uh, <laughs> when you read the Surangama, you mentioned 50 demons. Eh, it's quite similar, but oh, uh, quite hard. Lah, oh. uh, sometimes, uh, that even the Swamaka and the Prachika Buddha is the demon. Oh my God. How, how, how can they include this? Uh? So I don't really buy that. Lah, huh? Okay. Huh? Yeah. For, um, yeah. Okay. Basically, how do we differentiate? It's through the precept. Uh, class, uh, basically, if your precept hold very well, huh? if let's say uh, your precept, you hold the precept badly. Huh? For example, uh, some medium, uh, uh, they, uh, I mean, uh, they always uh, have a third party affair. Uh, and then uh, they always, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, a lot of gossip. And then uh, maybe the medium, uh, uh, you, you can you can feel attachment to the money, uh, everything. Uh, and yet, uh, he still can communicate and serve you uh, with his power. So I'm, I'm quite, uh, it's, I mean, uh, we should be skeptical over his power. But they must be from uh, unreliable and maybe from demon, the power. Okay. Uh, same, uh, if let's say uh, you got some medium uh, who is good, uh, how do you check? Uh, sometimes you have to ask some question. You see that. So if, uh, if you got wife, uh, do you have to separate from your wife uh, before the medium come to your body? Like Taipu Sam, you see. Taipu Sam, I asked before, uh, before they put the kawadi, uh, uh, they, have, they have to be fasted uh, and they have to be practice the chastity maybe for a few weeks something like that see you know so we need to say that the, that uh, uh, if let's say how uh, we need to say that the day what they, they will come uh, only uh, they will choose the body uh, which is pure which is purified ah which is purified uh. so from here we roughly know already uh, oh this is a real uh, it's a good deva even though it's a ghost uh, this is a high level ghost so they will choose a purified body or uh, you must be become vegetarian or fast Okay, um, so this is how uh, it's the same. Uh, uh, so class, uh, make sure you have a uh, good intention uh, uh, before the med uh, before the meditation. Uh, uh, and then uh, you hope to preserve well, then uh, basically what you experience, uh, I think should be the genuine one. And it is not a plot. Uh, uh, 
uh, it is not play behind the demon. Uh, basically, uh, as long as uh, if you are right for every details, you just pay attention uh, to your, to, I mean, uh, I mean, um, uh, uh, to uh, to a kamatana, uh, all illusion will disappear. The night is they will disappear. The illusion all will disappear. Okay, wow. so no need to worry much. Uh, make sure you keep your precept good, uh, and then you will attract uh, uh, the very good one. Huh? Uh, same question we ask. Uh, people will say that. So the moment they die, uh, how how can they differentiate? Uh, the Amidama is the real one or is the demon one? The answer is so simple. How is the guy uh, who observed the precept? If you observe the precept very well, huh, you will only attract the real Amidaba to come to you. Uh, if your precept is very bad, lah, huh, I don't think uh, the real Amidaba might come. It might be the demon who come to you. Uh, okay, huh? And I think uh, if your body is not sensitive enough, quite hard for you to attract them. Huh? Even, they, even they come, uh, you, also, you also don't see them. Huh? You don't feel them <laughs> because you are too insensitive, too insensitive. But then they come, you also don't know. Okay, oh. so no need to worry. Like, I think here, uh, most of you are uh, is uh, quite insensitive and not vulnerable. <laughs> uh, for those uh, who are there sensitive, uh, uh, they can feel it. Uh, they can feel it, they can communicate, but they are vulnerable at the same time. Okay, oh. uh, if, uh, if we break them from level one to level five, uh, if they're in the level four or five, uh, uh, basically they can talk to the talk to the demon or oh, and then they can catch them already ah they can oh, uh, develop some power or oh, uh, become a medium but basically you are discouraged to go to this way even though you are able you have the capability you are discouraged to do so oh, we prefer you <laughs> sit down and meditate or oh, do samatha vipassana don't go to catch the ghost ah yeah. you know not if you go to catch the ghost uh, every night uh, they will come to fight to you Ah, you 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 will have many sleepless nights. Ah, people tell told me before. Ah, uh, some uh, after uh, some they want to show off, uh, so they try to conquer some demon. Okay, huh? Then night time they will come. Okay, huh? Maybe in the very beginning stage, uh, you feel enjoy, huh? You get some achievement, huh? Then later on, every night people come to fight to you. I don't think you get enjoy, right? You wouldn't enjoy anymore. Every night, uh, it's a sleep, sleepless night. You see. And sometimes uh, once you help the people huh, because you're a busy body you end up uh, maybe some accident maybe some illness then uh, i mean uh, huh, you have to spend some money for all this huh. uh, then uh, your business i mean uh, uh, i mean a lot of obstacles in your business ah uh, when you go to tender the project almost come almost come to the mouth already but it disappeared ah uh, so that's why uh, some people not everybody uh, really have the heart uh, huh, to go to catch the demon all this not everybody because uh, they encounter a lot of this stuff of, uh, i mean uh, difficulties in the life uh, then you want to give up already okay uh, okay next uh, we come to see uh. so we go to the verse number 90 uh. okay uh, uh, amanda can you please read the passage to further uh. To further the study of meditation, one should stay away from the five desires and the five hindrances. To keep the precepts for the sake of practicing meditation is called the superior study of the precepts. Through the pure study of the precepts, one further practices meditation. One has to recognize firmly that if one wants to meditate successfully, one has to keep away from desires and evil things. This is because superior concentration is included among the good dharmas of the realms of form and formlessness. If the mind is caught up in the cycle of desirous affairs that do not keep away from the evil things of the realms of desire, then one cannot enter the good dharmas of the realm of form. Some people neglect this point. Those who want to attain concentration and transcendent power, but constantly think of food and sex are attached to the five desires. They do evil and live in extreme confusion. The most extreme confusion, which exists in Taoism and Hinduism, but has sometimes become mixed with the Buddha Dharma, involves holding that meditation can be practiced through sexual pleasure between a man and a woman, and that such practices are the practice of both sex and life and of both body and mind. This not only deceives 
deceives ignorant people, but specifically lures those with money and power, and as well those who are growing older and weaker physically or mentally, and who want to indulge yet can no longer do so. This was common in the past in the royalty and among the government officials. They are in fact Taoists who cannot stand such deviant uh, practices and who solemnly criticize them. Even among shallow Taoism, Taoists, there are people who know the difference between deviance and righteousness. So how can those with right knowledge and understanding go so wrong? In its origins, the Sanskrit word samapati means attaining equilibrium with regard to the state of the meditative mind. But the Indians also call sexual intercourse between men and women samapati. In this case, the attaining of equilibrium between the female and the male, because in this situation, the couple's mind are concentrated and pleasure is experienced throughout the body which is similar to the phenomena of meditation. This is like those non-Buddhists who consider present enjoyment to be nirvana, who pat, their belly, who pat their bellies after a full meal and say, this is nirvana. They want to attain concentration but are reluctant to give up sensual pleasures. They intentionally or unintentionally mix the meanings of samapati together. Then they cultivate their life essence and energy, expanding great effort on their body and lustful desires without realizing that they are on the wrong path. This is really a pity. Uh, among the desires and unwholesomenesses that one should stay away from are the five desires and the five hindrances. The five desires are the desires of for appealing visible forms, sounds, odors, taste and tangible things. Those who practice meditation have to collect the mind inwardly. So they have to stay away from these desires. They should not be confused by the momentary satisfaction that pleasures afford, but should realize their faulty appearance and use various theories and facts to degrade them. Look upon the five desires as deceivers, as violent people who want to appear good but are bad, or as a sugar-coated poison, or as honey on the blade of a knife. Only in this way will one not take their appearances as pure and wonderful and as things to which one should not become attached. When mental attachment does not arise, this is called leaving the desires. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, please highlight the point.
Uh, you may off the camera if you are eating, huh? because everything will be recorded down. <laughs> you can off the camera if you are eating, okay? <clears throat> <coughs> okay, uh, I, I think... <coughs> Can we stop here actually? Huh? Okay, class, take a look. Huh? If you are Tibetan Buddhism, I think uh, you frequently encounter such questions, uh, especially one people who huh, see this type of the statue. Huh? So you have to explain to them. Huh? So this time is the statue you will see is the sexual intercourse become between man and the woman okay huh? and basically uh, this type of picture huh, uh, is covered huh, at the wall of the temple huh? okay if you ask them uh, how come this thing happened huh? uh, basically for the Tibetan Buddhism uh, the monk will explain they say oh one is the the man uh, represent the wisdom the woman represent the compassionate so they integrate together they say, oh, you don't think other things, okay, huh? uh, maybe to explain in this way. Huh? Uh, well, uh, this type of picture actually huh, is available in the text uh, of the, in the Tibetan Buddhism. Huh? But this is not recognizable widely. Uh, basically, huh, especially you see for our precept, uh, huh, for the monk and the nun or your precept, uh, huh, number one is a sexual misconduct. For, for, especially for monk, it's a no sexual activity, you see. And then, uh, and yet uh, you see two one man and woman and they have a session in the course of course not right uh, basically people will start to bombard them uh. but since uh, everything is stated in their text uh, uh, but the text uh, we believe have, 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 have been i mean uh, uh have been have been have been injected uh, uh, <coughs> maybe uh, some teaching uh, uh, from the yoga sex in brahmanism or yogaism <coughs> <coughs> They already inject uh, uh, inside to the sutra. Okay, uh, and then it happened not only in Indian but also in China, especially in the palace. You see, according to the history, uh, uh, there, <coughs> there will be some, <coughs> I mean, uh, some Taoism. Uh, uh, they also uh, practice uh, yoga sex, something like that. Okay, and then and then they try to, uh, I mean, uh, to launch it, uh, or propagate in the palace, okay, uh, so according to the history, uh, uh, yes, they found that this is a deterioration, but later on, uh, it had been overruled uh, by the king, they said, oh, this is not, not the right things, uh, how come become the right things here, uh, so it happened uh, uh, in the Buddhism, and even though in the Taoism, uh, uh, the reason is uh, because, uh, uh, According to the definition uh, for the samapati, uh, in Indian, sometimes uh, the sexual pleasure also considered as a samapati uh, because uh, the definition for samapati is very wide. Mm. And some even uh, define uh, <clears throat> uh, the joy from the food uh, after eating uh, is nibbana. So that's why uh, once uh, you have pick up the words, you have to see the definition clearly. Uh, even though the same word uh, in Hinduism, in Brahmanism, uh, uh, that it could be different. Uh, and also in what, uh, uh, Jainism. Uh, so we have to really go through uh, the words, uh, I mean the, the definition of, uh, the, uh, of the words. Uh. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> for this, uh, uh, why, why, uh, uh, basically, this our culture, huh, like like this uh, yoga sex, uh, is it, it it couldn't be common and prevailing, especially in China, okay, in China, huh? but uh, but I heard that in Tibetan in Tibet lah, huh, why they can make it popular? Uh, they have some culture involved. Mm. I heard that uh, maybe uh, most of them are nomad, you see, huh? so uh, basically, uh, when the brother go out for hunting, huh, there's a possibility uh, the brother cannot come back. So the wife, uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> we belongs uh, to to his brother. You see, uh, one, uh, one, once, uh, once, what, uh, 
the big brother die, huh? uh, so the wife will become the second brother. So there must be uh, some way uh, have this type of culture can make this type of the practice become popular. So uh, I heard that uh, huh? some monk, if they want to practice this, this type of yoga sex, they have to disrupt. They have to disrupt. Uh, uh, and as a layman status to do to practice it. Uh, and then uh, maybe uh, they reach a certain level, then they have to. I mean, I become a monk again, and then they have to, I mean, I reordain again. So what's the purpose of uh, to have the yoga sex? The only one reason is uh, they want to open the middle nadi. Ah, middle nadi. Let's take a look. This is the middle nadi. Uh. Check the text before. Uh. According to them, they say, uh, they want to open is the middle nadi. Uh. <coughs> middle nerve. Now you see, no? So this is the Nadi, you see. Uh, uh, we will see that there is total, uh, there are total seven chakra, I mean, which is located, I mean, uh, located according to our endocrine system. And you will see one more Nadi, uh, huh? we call it as the middle Nadi, which begins uh, from uh, the, <coughs> the lowest chakra and then hitting to the highest chakra, you see. So this nadi, uh, according to them, uh, the purpose is to open this nadi. Uh, uh, they want uh, the flow of our energy uh, from the yin to the yang and yang to the yin. It's from the man to the woman, woman to the man. So when there's an exchange of energy, uh, maybe they will uh, put some skills uh, inside uh, during I mean, uh, the yoga sex. And then make sure that also there should be no outflow of the cement. Ah, so actually, uh, it doesn't really just, I mean, it's a simple sexual intercourse, no. If you could really check the text, uh, uh, it seems that uh, <clears throat> the woman uh, must, be the, must be the virgin, very young virgin. Uh, and then for the man's side, no outflow of the cement. If there's an outflow, that is the, that is the I mean, uh, infringe of the precept already. Uh, so if you check the detail, it, it seems that uh, they are not playing. Uh, they, they really uh, practice certain rules inside. Uh, to make sure there will be some energy exchange uh, from the uh, 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 from, uh, between the yin and yang. Uh. So you see, uh, uh, if you, <coughs> it seems quite familiar, right? Maybe in the movie or where, somewhere here and there, uh, you know that all Taoism and Hinduism, uh, they will practice them. They believe that there's an energy flowing uh, between the body. You see, mm. so that's why, uh, remember, I got some because some Dharma friend, uh, they are very sensitive, you know. Uh, they are able to see the ghosts, you know, are uh, very sensitive. But uh, once they marry, uh, I believe uh, there must be some change of energy between his husband and, and, and her body. Uh, then uh, the, this type of uh, phenomenon gone with you. Know? Uh, so I think uh, there must be some something happened here, uh, the energy exchange. Uh, uh, besides, uh, it's, it's the given birth of the baby. Uh, uh, some also very sensitive to you see all this type of thing. Uh, but once uh, they deliver the baby, uh, uh, then the ability gone already, you see. They don't see uh, this type of thing already. <laughs> but the ability passed to the baby already. <laughs> the baby will see, start to see all this type of thing, you know. <laughs> uh, I remember the couple, you know, especially uh, uh, the fiancé, they say, uh, once they go all packed uh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, the lady always say, oh, I saw something behind you. <laughs> it's, it's at the head. Ah, yeah, he says, so great pressure, you know. Oh, always I'll uh, go out with the lady, you see. But, but after Mary, uh, oh, then, then the belief, not that sensitive already. Ah, you, you say, ah, you don't get like a cow. Every day people say, oh, behind got somebody. <laughs> and somebody, no hit, what, hitless woman behind you. Uh, then, uh, you. So this this thing can happen. Uh. So uh, I, I think, uh, uh, the uh, I mean, uh, the, out the flow of the energy between yin and yang, uh, sometimes also got advantage if they're a husband, okay, uh, husband and wife. Uh. Okay, next. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, the, uh, what, it, what it mentioned here. Huh? What do I keep on mentioning? Because uh, people somehow, huh, they, will, they, they will think that uh, huh, this type of yoga set is the ultimate. Okay, huh? For them, uh, they really claim that uh, in, their, in their Tibetan Buddhism text, they really said that uh, in order to attain to the Buddhahood, there must be some exchange of energy between the man and the woman. Uh, they insist, I checked already, they quite insist uh, in certain practices. A two more yoga, huh? that insists. Finally, you must uh, get a real, real one. Not just imagination, must be the real one. So I believe uh, 
this already, I mean, this one is the latest text, uh, oh, really mixed already with some, oh, with some Brahmanism or what, uh, oh, mixed already. And um, the way I see like a counterfeit money, uh, not the real money, it's really counterfeit money. Uh, so that's why uh, the author try to emphasize it so that we, we build out the proper right view, uh, then we notice it's not the right one. Uh, they are, they are, I mean, this is the karma flash, you see. Actually, it's a sexual pleasure. Uh, maybe some uh, some sort like this. Uh, huh? They try to camouflage themselves and use all the Dharma name to, to beautify it. Uh, so you have to be careful. Uh. And next, let's take a look. Uh. So some of our teachers now we mentioned already. Then uh, one more is... Uh, <clears throat> then it says, uh, uh, we shouldn't confuse by the momentary satisfaction that pleasure afford, but should realize their faulty appearance and use various theory. Huh? We haven't gone through this yet, right? Okay, huh? so we should begin here, right? Among the five desire, right? Yeah, let's check your turn to read, please. Among the five desires. Among the five desire, sexual desire is the most serious. This is primarily a desire for tangible things along with visible forms, sounds, odors, and tastes. It is extremely difficult to stay away from intimate, intimate sexual entanglement. How many people commit, commit boundless evil with boundless suffering because of love between the sex? The sutra describes sexual desire as a rope that binds one extremely tightly. It wounds the skin, severe the tendons, and break the bones. But one is still reluctant to be free of it. Such a state is opposite of meditation. So even lay disciples, if they want to practice meditation, have to control their sexual desire. The five hindrances are desire, anger, stupor, and sleep. Recklessness and worry and doubt. These all hinder the development of wholesomeness and the practice of meditation and wisdom. Desire arises from appealing sense objects. Anger arises from disagreement objects. Stupor occurs when the mind sinks and becomes dull, as if asleep, and comes from lack of clarity. Its opposite, re restlessness, is the excitability of the mind. Worry, a feeling of regret about the past, arises from thinking about one's relative or home, from desiring immortality, or from thinking in a confused way about the three periods of time, past, present, and future. Doubt or uncertainty also arises from thinking about the three periods of time. When one does not have the right understanding of how all conditioned things transmigrate through the three periods, one will become attached to I and my and imagine who one was in the past. One must practice the contemplation of impurity to subdue desire, the contemplation of compassion to counteract anger, the contemplation of dependent origination to treat doubt, the contemplation of brightness, the investigation of the meaning of the Dharma to, counter, to counteract stupor, and sleep, the contemplation of cessation to subdue re restlessness and regret. When these five hindrances are eliminated, meditation will be achieved. Okay, mm, thank you so much. Uh. Please highlight the point.
Uh, Mr. Leung, come up, please, once you finish. Uh. Okay, thank you so much. Let's take a look. Uh. So, from this paragraph, we understand that, okay, uh, here they say, uh, okay, uh, uh, basically, class, <clears throat> you see, uh, um, the joy is the major obstacle for most of us. Sometimes the joy, I mean, the little thing, uh, like, for example, you attach to certain food, well, this is very little thing, lah, huh? actually, it doesn't matter. Huh? But if, let's say uh, the attachment is so strong, uh, huh? and then we make you to infringe the precept, you always have to always think that it's just like honey on the plate. Huh? When you try uh, uh, to link, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 lick, uh, uh, you, you try, try to link uh, the, the, uh, the honey, huh? at the same time, uh, you will hurt. Okay, me, you, your tongue, you see, uh, licking, uh, when you try to licking the honey, you see. So that's, this is how uh, we always to warn ourselves. Uh. So class, I can remember, I can I know very well that uh, our past life habit, this uh, accumulation of our past life habit can be many, many lives, you see. It seems not that easy, uh, we can conquer it. I, I can know very well, uh, sometimes you feel that uh, you are quite helpless. Uh, it seems that the defilement is so strong uh, because habit uh, has been carried out for many, many, many lives, you see. Uh, so that's why you have to keep on to do the repentance. Uh, you feel the duty. And then again, uh, you observe the precept. You have to get away uh, from all the object. Uh, and then uh, once the... And, 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 and one thing very important, you must get, get the replacement. Uh, you must have a replacement in order to get rid of the... The bad habits you must get a replacement then gradually you will success and then basically it really takes time so, for you to really change from one bad habit to the good habit you see so. okay huh? so next so, so so this is very important to always remind yourself you see so. uh, so it's here to mention the sutra mentioned uh, sexual desire as a rope then binds one extremely tightly uh, uh, basically uh, because this is a tree vehicle Vehicle meaning to say uh, all the facts are uh, aiming to direct us uh, to become the Arahan, Prachika Buddha, and the Buddha. Of course, uh, so you keep on mentioning, oh, you must, you must try to get away from, from all this. Uh. But anyway, for the lame man, uh, uh, basically, uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> without sexual misconduct, is considered very good already. Uh okay uh, so that's why uh, we have to know very well uh, okay uh, so uh, the dharma is specific for a monk this is not a dharma uh, specific for the monk actually uh, monk and nuns uh. then one more is uh, regarding the five hindrances okay class uh, you were able to see uh, uh, <coughs> shakyamuni really is a psychology uh, he's very good in psychology you see how uh, he say how uh, if let's say <coughs> Okay, design arise from appealing sense object. Let's see. Uh, wait, uh, let's see. Uh. Now you say, uh, uh, wait, uh, okay. Uh, uh, in order, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, <clears throat> basically, once you try to meditate, you will notice that a lot of defilement will become. Uh, uh, the skill is not that difficult. For example, if let's say we got attachment, uh, maybe uh, attached to the to the people huh? and the attachment become an obstacle for you if let's say it's the opposite sex huh? so what you try to do you must be able huh, to see the shortcoming ah, the shortcoming for example huh, basically uh, in in, uh, in the body we got nine holes you see huh? from eye uh, to the uh, to, uh, to the ear and even though uh, the nose and also uh, the anus all the whole actually there's an accumulation of the third 30, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the things are very dirty uh, uh, in the hole. Uh. If you try to magnify the hole, okay, uh, then the attachment uh, uh, will gone. Okay, uh, so this is actually uh, it's a counter, counter act uh, to make yourself balanced. Second, let's say you, you're angry with certain people. You really uh, feel angry over him or her. Uh. Then what you try to do, you must be able to see his advantage. Mm. Oh, there must be somebody must call the advantage. You have to find out the advantage and magnify the advantage, and then you will let go your hatred. Okay, oh. and then uh, third one, if let's say how oh, your mind uh, always go down, uh, you want to fall asleep, oh. so you can you should pay your attention to the upper part. Ah, uh, once you pay attention to the upper part, maybe you concentrate here or 
uh, you uh, contemplate the light, okay, oh, then the, the blood now with a chi will flow up, then uh, you will feel okay. Oh. And then again, if let's say your mind is agitated, oh, it's always go up and down, it's very, oh, the mind is keep on wandering, so you should pay attention at the lower part of the body, so that the mind will go down. See. So you see, uh, so I noticed that uh, Shakyamuni is really, uh, it's a psychology. You know? So he know very well uh, how to encounter all these type of different problem. But the problem is, uh, even though you try to use it, uh, it seems like not really work all the time, right? <laughs> Maybe in the beginning it's working, uh, later on, oh, it doesn't work already, <laughs> all right? <nah? laughs> okay, uh, because the psychology is expert, uh, it's, it's his expertise, uh, but for us as a patient, uh, uh, it doesn't really work all the time, you see. Oh. So that's why we have to struggle. Oh. So that's why oh, this type of skills that uh, you have to use many times uh, to accumulate some experience. Uh, oh. Because everybody, uh, we, we owe ourselves, we know ourselves very well. Oh. We know uh, what, what we like and dislike. So you have to make full use of it. Okay, oh. Always remember class, you must make sure that don't have your mind, I mean, uh, have the vacant moment. Uh, it's just like a floor uh, in front of your house uh, in the garden. Uh, if let's say it is empty, uh, so all the wheat uh, will take opportunity to grow up. If let's say uh, you always uh, grow with the cops, uh, uh, like, uh, like the corns, uh, 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 mango trees, so all the wheat, uh, no opportunity to grow. It seems like your mind, you see. Your mind is just like a piece of the land, you see. If you always uh, grow up, uh, uh, grow up uh, with the good cops, uh, 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 like you always uh, contemplate uh, uh, with your uh, with your kamatana, okay, or whatever kamatana, uh, you always are uh, full with the dharma, uh, Buddha, uh, Buddha, all this, then all the greedy, uh, hatred, and stupidity, uh, my, uh, it will come. There's no opportunity. Uh, so you always, so, so, so you have to check yourself. Once uh, you, you accidentally uh, indulge in hatred or greedy, is this because uh, you don't really I mean, uh, you let the mind have the opportunity, right? Not uh, maybe uh, you sometimes uh, you feel lazy, right? Or okay, or uh, maybe rainy morning, uh, feel so lazy, then you just lie on the bed. Uh, that's an opportunity. All the development come. It is correct. Or you are very full, uh, uh, so comfortable, uh, and then uh, uh, working very tired. So now it's a time to revenge, sleep more, eat more. But you see, uh, the development is come at that time. Am I right, class? You see or not? Uh, so that's why uh, uh, the Buddha is really can tell us the method only. Then the rest, uh, you have to you have to do by yourself already. See or not? Uh, so that's why you see uh, once in a while, uh, every week, uh, we met together, we talk about the Dharma. This is very important, you know. Uh, you try, you just do everything by yourself, you can, you can getting worse and worse. Uh, because we keep on reminding everywhere, every, uh, every week we met, then every morning and night you do some chanting and meditate. All oh, helps a lot. Oh, okay. Oh. Then uh, one more thing, so let's take a look. It's regards this. Uh, uh, so, so that is the point here. Uh, uh. And then uh, there's one, it's uh, dependent origination to treat the doubts. Uh. A class, uh, the doubt, uh, is, uh, it doesn't, the, the doubt is not defined as a skeptical, maybe people gossip you. No, the doubt is uh, the, doubt, uh, uh, the doubt for past, present, and future life. Uh. Please write something here. To treat the doubt, doubt for past, present, and future life. Okay, uh, once you really go through dependent originations, you notice that, okay, uh, uh, meaning to say our life, uh, we've gone through past life, present life, and the future life. Uh. Let me show you a diagram. <clears throat> uh, basically, we are in the doubt, but we don't realize it. Okay, we don't realize we are in the doubt, you see. Uh, but uh, the contemplation or the uh, dependent origination is a little bit hard because uh, you need some jhana. Let's take a look. So uh, according to the Dharma, uh, we are quite, I mean, uh, we are ignorance uh, uh, to our past cause and our future effect. So this is our present life. Let's take a look, you see. Uh, okay, uh, now, Everybody here, we are all human, but we don't know uh, which one of the karma, okay, uh, we, which, uh, we, we, we don't know which one of the karma play roles, I mean, uh, to accrue uh, our body as a, as, I mean, uh, 
as a human okay and and yet we don't know what which one karma we are creating now and we determine the future we all we don't know okay oh. you can only know once you are came to the jhana so uh, with the help of your meditation master they will guide you uh, to use the point the, the light of the jhana go to check in past life which which one of the karma or uh, i mean uh, uh end up uh, you have uh, this body uh, and also you have to check uh, which one karma you correct within this life and then in the future next life uh, where are you going to be uh, so this is the powerful uh, of dependent origination okay if let's say you're under the guidance of a um, master then you know this that uh, in your future life is nothing so what is the significance of it Sally, what does that mean now uh? uh, the future life you see oh nothing so what is the significance Sally that means you have tear up your 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 what the have all the <laughs> oh it means that you are arahan already <laughs> yeah uh, because uh, just only arahan uh, go to check the future life eh? it's it's no more life so that is the good news uh. oh. of course you make sure you check the right thing uh, oh. don't tell the whole world oh i'm arahan oh, oh. The wrong checking oh. i just like how oh. you go to uh, you start the lottery uh, the first prize uh, oh wrong number oh embarrassed you see oh. so make sure uh, you make sure the skill is correct oh. okay class uh, one thing is very I mean, something is very, uh, very interesting. Oh, you know, no, no. I, I check some, uh, some meditation manual. Oh. Some people are uh, they go to check the past life. Uh, actually, past life, uh, they know this three karma is very close together. Maybe it seems for, for the for the yogi, uh, it seems it happen concurrently. You see, so they notice that uh, there's one karma uh, is he go to put put the foot during the pindaba. One is uh, he saw the Buddha statue. Okay, uh, one is observed the five percent very well. So three karma, it seems happen concurrently. So the yogi is unable to detect uh, which one karma determine the present life body. You see, so uh, under the guidance of the or the master, uh, uh, he able to find it out. What he able to find out mean to say he clear the previous life doubt. See not uh, okay. Uh, then uh, this life, if you do a lot of meditation, or uh, maybe you reborn or uh, become a deva. Uh, so you are able to check it then you will clear the doubt to the future life so that is the meaning of the dependent origination why this is so important it makes us different from the monotheism basically for monotheism like um, hebrew uh, uh christian and also uh the Muslim, uh, islam they all i mean uh, all the destination everything is determined by the god so meaning to say it's a monotheism the god determining everything for us no okay for us everything is determined by our karma our ignorance our karma okay so this is the the, the cause cause and the condition of our, to decide our future life there's nobody behind to arrange everything because that is because of, for some sometimes if you don't know the buddhism you somehow feel that really uh there's one invisible hand behind to make things happen right right no? oh for example like covid la, or, uh, like the chaotic i mean hong kong uh, was in the chaotic before huh? it seems that uh, you feel that it, it seems that uh, one invisible hand is running all the things you see oh uh, uh, from delta to omicron all this thing oh, oh and then a war again yeah for the monotheism and they will feel that there's a hand behind so it must be the god okay huh? but for us no there's a karma or is the ripen and the rose of the karma oh, uh, even though uh, for einstein uh, and also for stephen hawking uh, they said there's uh, no room for the god <laughs> they are the, the disbelief god uh, <laughs> for the uh, i mean uh, for the scientists uh, uh, they say no there's no room for the god they say they no no, no need the god uh, to ignite the fire for the big bang they said no need the hand of the god is not necessary uh, so uh, so i don't know how 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 do they have to hold the belief uh, uh, for us is is due to the karma what we create uh, and then uh, with all the affinity and then it comes true so that is what we call it as a one uh, class here uh, uh, to clear the doubt you see the better origination to treat the doubts you see then the brightness uh, uh, this is the brightness 
to counteract the stuffer and sleeping. Oh. So there's a brightness contemplation. <coughs> <coughs> Plus you can take a look of, oh. uh, try to check uh, whether you've got a light or the sun. Oh. Please, please try to visualize it in your, in, 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 in your mind. Okay, how oh, you see it and you close your eye, visualize it. Okay, oh. If you manage, then you can raise your hand ready. Okay, Mr. Leung, Mrs. Leung, make it. Okay, let them get <laughs> Okay. So most of you make it. Okay. So class, uh, this is this is the here the meaning. You see the brightness contemplation of the brightness. You see. Okay. Oh. Then uh, this to counteract stuff the stupor a stupor and sleep. Uh, oh. <coughs> <coughs> if you're doing the meditation, you feel you want to fall asleep, uh, you have to do the contemplation of the brightness. Uh. Then one more is the contemplation of the cessation to subdue restlessness and the regret. You see? Cessation. Uh. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, uh, basically, when you start to meditate, uh, <coughs> <coughs> The contemplation of cessation means what? Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, the cessation meaning to say is the contemplation for a nibbana in the con in, in the precept in the in the perception. Uh, uh, well, it doesn't matter. This matter is not common. Uh, it's not common. Uh. Uh, so you you know very well already. Uh, uh, so this is uh, how uh, the uh, I mean uh, how is the Buddhism use it? Uh, 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 by the way, one. Thing I want to emphasize is uh, I think uh, maybe uh, after marriage uh, they say uh, uh, people after seven years after the marriage uh, they have they will feel boring already or uh, they want to look for something new or uh, maybe look for a new or uh, and then to start to create a third party affair especially for the men uh, who are very wealthy uh, uh, then they will start this sort of thing but as the Buddhist uh, will try to learn the meditation to conquer this okay uh, Okay, uh, so this is the one. Uh, and second, uh, uh, so sometimes uh, there might be some temptation. Uh, uh, once the position is getting higher. Uh, so some lady, uh, maybe they want to get the project, you see. So they will come to Leo you, you see. Oh, and then uh, maybe we'll, we'll, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll uh, put some scam uh, or all this type of stuff. So that's why as a Buddhist, uh, I hope that uh, uh, we, our Buddhists, uh, won't fall trap to this type of thing. Because uh, if this thing happened, uh, the major cause is due to your defilement. We don't blame other first. You must be have your own problem first. Okay, uh, so this is how the Buddhists are. Uh, they can manipulate uh, your the skills uh, from Shakyamuni, and you know yourself very well. Uh, and then uh, you would fall into the trap, even though people try to trap you. See, uh, uh, so this is something you can share, uh, especially among the men. Uh, uh, because uh, recently, uh, there's a lot of uh, people uh, caught. Uh, it's about one million dollars uh, for the scam uh, all involved the new photo and the age is between 16 to 64 all are men see or not meaning to say men easily for trap uh, uh, and must be caught up uh, by all the scammer behind see or not so be careful uh, okay, okay uh, so now we go to the number 91 contemplation of impurity and control breathing are called the two Embroises. Okay, ho. let me see first. Uh, ho. I think I don't gone through. La. Okay, ho. because after some talking, uh, I noticed the cough uh, start to coming back. Okay, uh, but uh, I think uh, what I want to do, uh, we have to do chanting, uh, uh, transfer merit for SJ grandmother. Okay, uh, 